Uh, this is for the preppers that are out there. Uh, in case something does happen and you have to travel someplace, you better have a road atlas, a map. The reason for that is you cannot count on GPS. Even here, most of the time, you can't count on it because it doesn't work. And another thing in a crisis, if the government doesn't want you to move, they just turn the doggone thing off or recalibrate it so you're miles off your course. So do not count on GPS. Get yourself a road atlas. They might run you $20 nowadays. I can't remember. This one's from uh, 2005. This one here is from, uh, uh, let's see, 1990. So keep that in mind. Do not count. Do not count on on these uh, gadgets, gadgets and gizmos and and what have you. Now let's get on to something else. There's a few books out there uh, for preppers. You might want to stop and think about. Zooming in. This one's called Brush Fire Plague. And on the back of it, it says, it says a lot of things. Brush Fire Plague made a Spanish flu pandemic of 1918 look like a case of the common cold. Surviving was just the beginning. Well, there's a, he had two books out on that. Here's the second part. Called The Reckoning or something. Yeah, The Reckoning. It's about the same thing. I'll put this back up here for a second because I think it's important enough to get the guy's... Uh, name in there. Oh, and oh, there's another book. One second after. Gotta give you guys something to read. Now, why am I talking about this survival stuff tonight? Well, I was on a chat tonight. There's a lot of people talking about survival and prepping and what to do and back to the basics and all the good stuff but the people who are preppers already know who they can trust and who they can't pretty much but a lot of these people like the one girl was saying you know that they, they kind of want to take advantage of it well you know if things go bad i'll be come to your place you don't want that kind of person around you. And you don't want a person around you that doesn't have any kind of skills or even has the will to survive. Because already if they had the will to survive, they would have been prepping. And they're not. You don't want them kind of people on you. Now, even, even the guys that don't have a wife or a girlfriend or anything like that at the moment. But, those kind of people will not take in some kind of woman who thinks that She's going to go by her feminine charms to have you feed and keep her. That doesn't work. If you don't have a skill, your bedroom skills mean absolutely zero. If a guy needs companionship, he'll get a dog or he'll get a cat or some raise some cobwebs. Now why am I talking about skills? Well... Put it this way, uh, you got to consider the fact that almost 90% of the American people live in cities. Their food and clothing come from, comes from the labor of other people. Various forms of energy are processed and delivered to their homes by other people. The shelter they live in was probably built by others, is protected by, from fire and others from intrusion, more or less, by other people. Because of the common interdependence, 
that is a, <laughs> supposed to be the backbone of civilization, we tend to lose sight how vulnerable we really are, how unable we are through our own direct efforts to provide the core necessities which we require to support our lives. Without really being aware of it, most of us have subcontracted almost all of our life support activities to other people, corporations, government bodies, and machines. Not only does this circumstance contribute to the sense of frustration, but it's life-threatening should there be an interruption of these vital services. Now, what would you do, say, a week from next week? Oh, yeah, a week from next week. What would you do, for example, a week from next Wednesday? There was no gasoline at the pumps, no food in the supermarket, no electric power or city water, the banks are all closed, and a mob had formed in the center of town looting, burning out of frustration and fear. Could you and your family survive there for a few weeks, even where you are now, without any additional food or water, and perhaps with no police or fire protection? Think about that. Skills, people. You've got to have skills or you won't be needed. Learn the skills now. Some people know how to make light soap and how to make candles. Uh, some people know how to hunt, fish, and trap. Um, you know, have to do how to use their hands. Uh, and there's a lot of people out there with all the skills, but they're few and far between. You just don't know, people. It could happen overnight. But these girls, with, like I say, with their female charms and stuff, think they're going to worm their way into that kind of guy's life. It won't happen. You're on your own. If you don't have skills where you can uh, help out your helpmate, you're not going to be needed. Learn the skills now. You're running out of time. Preparations running out of time. Thanks for listening.